He's a prime candidate for transplant. Doesn't smoke, drinks moderately. His tox screen was negative for illegal drugs and legal ones. Surveillance blood cultures show absolutely no sign of any lingering Brucella bacteria. He's 66 years old. Told me he was 65. Liar. I'm out of here. There is an inverse correlation between patient age and success rates. He's in excellent health. This was his first hospitalization since breaking his leg at 23. Or 22, I'm not sure anymore. If this patient were to survive the operation, he'd get another what? Five, 10, maybe 20 years if he's very lucky? So you're saying that old people aren't as worth saving as young people? He's saying that hearts are a scarce resource. We obviously have to choose criteria. No, I get it. Women live longer, so they should get preference, right? And African Americans, they die a lot younger, so the hell with them. What, you think you're gonna win me over by calling me a racist? If the test is who gets to use it the longest, you can either be a racist or a hypocrite. Your patient had a life, a family. We've got 18-year-old kids who will never- How old are you, doctor? When do we get to toss you on an ice flow? And thank you, Dr. House. Now, unless anybody else has any further questions, we will now go into private session. Oh, I'm on pins and needles. I wonder how you'll decide. The Nets just won their third game in a row. Beat the Lakers. <laughs> I'm sorry. They voted no. So, when do I die? Might have a week. Died of pneumonia. Unless she has a bionic heart. What's next? Oh, baby died in the ICU. The babies are useless. They got hearts the size of ping pong balls. Next. Uh, forty-year-old male. Yes. Heart attack. If you really cared about me, you'd find me a better corpse. There's no other deaths. There's one woman who was in a car accident. Bad one, I hope. Organ procurement people have been notified. Give me her file. It's in the ER. They're still working on her. Age? About 40. Young, damn. Young is good. Smoker? Don't know. We'll find out. She's still alive. Even if we get on the list, we can't go near her. And... Overweight? She's on the hefty side. Excellent. Her odds just went up. What odds? What is this? 60% of potential donor hearts get tossed in the trash because there's something wrong with them. With fat people, it's closer to 80. But if her heart's no good, then... Big, fat, sloppy heart beats no heart at all. Are you Mr. Newberger? Yes, I'm Dr. House. I need to ask you a few questions about your wife. Is she gonna be okay? I'm afraid I don't know that. Could you tell me about her accident? They uh, think she fell asleep, went off the road. That's all they told me. Any problems with her health up until now? Why? Please, it's important. Um, she had a fever today, but otherwise she was... How high? At 101. She hasn't missed a day of teaching in years. And I should have made her stay home. Any other symptoms? A stomach ache. Who cares? She was in a car crash. Mr. Newberger? Yep. Yeah. My name's Ellen Stamler. I'm the organ procurement coordinator for Southern New Jersey. I just want to assure you that we'll treat her organs with care and dignity. Her organs? Laura died. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought, um, <laughs> she was just pronounced dead. I, I thought he was telling you. I didn't know. Assumptions. What did you want from me? I'm sorry for your loss, but I need your wife's heart. The organ procurement coordinator just left the hospital. It means we got lucky. Either that or she's getting lunch. 
dead woman's last name have a U or a W. You're hacking into a confidential patient file? Is that a problem for you? It's a U, N-E-U. Three minutes ago, her organs were officially declared not viable. Time to go dumpster diving. Hey, she's got hepatitis C. Her ALTs are three times normal. With Harry's immune system down, an infected heart will kill him. Fortunately, she didn't have hep C. She tested positive. Her history says otherwise. Her husband told me she was running a fever with stomach pains. That's a dementic of hep C. Newberger has every right to take his wife off the ventilator. His wife signed an organ donor card. Which became invalid when her organs were turned down. I can use them. I just need some time. Committee says they won't take her heart. Another committee says the guy can't have a heart. It's a marriage made in heaven. I can find a surgical team that can do this. They're classified as experimental. It's not going to screw with their numbers. This is what she wanted. She wanted her organs to she help She never another... wanted to be kept alive on a ventilator. She's not. She's dead. She's not in pain. She's not suffering. It's just her meat we're dealing with here. This is my wife. Not anymore. She deserves some respect, some dignity. I respect the living. Right. That is why you made me think that you were her doctor. Made me believe that maybe there was some hope. I never said that I was her doctor. Fine, you didn't lie, but you sure as hell didn't give me any respect. I am taking her off the machines, now. Nicely played. It's not over. Excuse me, are you Mr. Newberger? Yeah, why? I'm Amy Errington. I wanted to thank you. <sighs> this girl's father will die by next weekend unless he gets her wife's heart. Klaus, don't you think that's a little manipulative? No, it's hugely manipulative. You're an ass. Hey, listen. You take your wife off life support, and I'll have forgotten about this in two weeks. Gail here, on the other hand. Amy. Whatever. You're mad at me. Fine, I get that. Take it out on me, not on her. Dad can uh, have her heart. <laughs> 